I mean, <laughs> you have to be Ray trying to unlock that right now. He's got to defeat <laughs> the mini boss, the Ike. First. No, I'm just kidding though. He, he did he did really tweet that, but his Ike is obviously one of the best, if not the best, in the world, flat out. But here we go, G Pick. Let's get it started. You got Utopian Ray against <laughs> MK Leo. Game one already getting started. 35, 30.5 percent on the Palu. I love that he just immediately dropped down and did the quick draw. I was just like, I know Ooh. he's gonna try to set up some camp, but he gets hit by that. He's no stranger to. He's not afraid to whip out the forward smashes whenever, dude. Yeah, I don't even think that would have killed, to be honest with you. But maybe you got to. Oh God. At the okay. very least, it puts the fear into uh, Utopian Ray. Just lets him know in the very beginning of the set. By the way, I might throw these things out here. Mm -hmm. Good punish right there oh. by Ike. Let's see what he can find. Another quick draw. That's the thing, too, is like he shortened it right there. You have a lot of different mix-up options, you know, on the ground afterwards uh, from the quick attacks. Or, or quick draw. Quick yeah. attack. Not Pikachu. Not Pikachu. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is a quick draw. Oh, my gosh. That, that's just terrifying to think about. Uh, uh, quick, quick attack. <laughs> oh, Ooh, look at that. Gets the back here. It's interesting to see how Leo is using it, too, because he tends to use it immediately when they're at mid-range because he's suspecting Utopian Ray wants to set up an explosive flame at that moment. That's right. So he's just zone breaking at the moment that it looks like zoning might start. For sure. And the thing, too, that you have to keep in mind is Ike is so strong on the stage stadium, too. It's like comboing up the platforms, the way he can chain his aerials together, it's just super duper strong. Yeah, and there's also like not that much platform Ooh. to hide under when you're trying to hide from like his falling nares, right? Mm -hmm. They're in very specific spots where we can extend combos off them, but they don't provide shelter. That's right. Down tilt looking for a forward air follow-up, can't find it. At the ledge now, Leia, one of the best ledge trappers in the history of Smash 4, but Utopian Ray able to find his way out. Mm -hmm. Oh, great use of dash attack. A very strong way to contest that falling there. Because, that, again, that shield is invincible. It, it's designed to stop swords. That's right. Yeah, pretty much. Right? It's a shield, man. I mean, <laughs> you don't need to say much more about it. It's crazy. Here we go. Good timing on that back air. It wasn't good enough, though. Utopian Ray holding on to the second sock. He needs to take away Leo's first. Very quickly, Perry might have got some start off, but Leo said, nah, hold this down air. Oh, barely missing that up tilt, but then catching the counter because the up air whiffed. Yeah, man. I mean, you just got to pick a defensive option at some point, and Leo's just so good at sniffing out nervous habits or sniffing out big defensive options like that. Oh, mm. he throws out his own, too. Good punish there by Ray. What, on the hunt for this first stock. Nice runoff by Leo, avoiding the grab. Super smart stuff. And setting yep. up that back air as the punish, too. Mm -hmm. Exactly, dude. Uh, no. Uh, okay. That was <laughs> Sneaks back on stage. And Leo, like, even though he has so much currency to play with in terms of, like, forcing trades, he's just finding his way back to center stage time and time again. He just wants to make this as frustrating as possible for Utopian Ray to fish for this kill because that opens Utopian Ray Ooh. up to more of these attacks. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's crazy about this is you think Palu, I think she's so, so good in neutral. But the thing is, like, you're going against MK Leo, who might have the strongest neutral in the game right now. He's definitely in contention, like, top three at the very least. So. Mm -hmm. Go. Oh my god, this is what I'm talking about. That's how the aerial string together on PS2. Very good stuff. MK Leo using the max rage as well. Three stock, dude. That's how that's how you set the tone for a tournament right there. Today goes top 48 to top eight. Leo goes, you know what? I'm gonna be strong from start to finish. Game one, taking it down super strong. He's avoiding any of those PG stats up to set notifications, right? No top player <laughs> he wants to be at he, he knows by PG watching, stats. Man. He's like, Swire, you know, I'm staying away. <laughs> I do not want to be on that thread. <laughs> But but I, <laughs> I want to point out by Utopian Ray that he actually got a little bit of tunnel vision at that very last stock, right? He was getting frustrated. How do Ooh. I kill him? He was looking for all those dash grabs, right? right? And those dash grabs kept getting stuffed by, like, jumping back hairs or quick draws. That's, and you know what? That's something that Leo is so good at. He, he understands exactly what Ray wanted in all those situations. Sometimes you got to pump your break. Maybe it isn't, maybe they're percentage-wise ready for a KO, ready for you to swing at them, but the player is ready for whatever options you have for a KO. So you're not, they're, the player isn't ready, the character might be. So, yes. Ray, let's see what he can do in this match, though. Try to mix it up. Bigger uh, stage, a little more real estate here, town and city. Mm -hmm. So far, it's off to a pretty good start. 30% unanswered. And just keeping that corner control as well. Utopian Ray trying to get this ledge trap, misses the punish on the roll. And that Ooh. opens it up for Leo's attacks just with that sword. So much damage just after three hits. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Both these characters hit super hard. Their advantage states are ridiculously good. Oh, looking for a down air, can't find it. Here we go. Leo with the dash attack. Uh, okay, he showed that crazy <laughs> early. I, I feel like. Not that that was disrespectful. It might have just been a miscue or something from Leo, or he had a super hard lead. Maybe Reed. Maybe he thought, you know, Utopian Ray was gonna fly right into that instantly, but mm -hmm. he didn't. So that was crazy. It's just uh, making, trying to make that call out, but. So Ben Ray overall keeping the presence very even, but again, that question is how is he going to find the stock? This is an even bigger blast zone stage, especially off the top. Oh, that God. might make it even harder, especially if you get caught on the platform. What a, what a reaction from Leo, too. That's like a huge thing like that a lot of players who didn't quite make top 48 could work on. It's just easy reactions like that. Things in matchups, like he, Leo knew exactly what to do the second that that radical whiffed. It didn't work. Leo responded accordingly, got a stock for it, and now he's running away with the lead. He's quick draws speed pick. I love it. I love it. I love it. He's playing like a crazy man. I, I like that Utopian Ray has like accepted it. Though. It was like, I 
fine, here's my shield. Just if you're gonna keep doing this at me. <laughs> Ray going to the ledge is super smart because I feel like Leo is really trying to cover. Oh, oh. Look at, that recovery is really, really good. Le uh, Leo's like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lose a stock. Mm -hmm. So what? if you guys can't hear that, you know, we got three streams going right now. Four Smash Ultimate here. Every stream. Oh, hold on, Leo. That yep, nair yeah, yeah, was yeah, yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was amazing. Dude. As an air-to-air -air option, and then still finding a kill confirm off of it off the middle platform. You think? You think Leo banned FD? These uh, platforms are his best friends, dude. I could actually see it banning FD and then also banning uh, Kalos Lee, right? Fair to enough. make sure that there's always platforms above his head. That's the crazy thing, too, though, is that, you know, Utopian Ray is an amazing player, and Palu is also very, very good platforms, but MKLeo is just making, making them his best friend, like I said. Yeah. The other thing, let me finish that thought, though, is that we have three streams going for ultimate. Good dash attack, Utopian Ray on the board. Three streams for ultimate, watch them. Every match is being streamed top 48, so you don't want to miss anything. Your, your favorite player might be playing. Make sure you pop open all those streams, man. Mm -hmm. Like, multi-twitch, man. For sure. At the ledge, though. I think feel like Ray's done a pretty good job getting out of disadvantage at the ledge, though. I gotta give him that. Okay. Oh, making a hard call out of Aether as an anti-air. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be frustrating for Ray, too, because he's unable to get the punish afterwards. Kind of rushed it a little bit, but... Here he goes, he's got center stage, Leo take it back, but ooh, Palo's there, very, very good option, neutral. Dealing with these quick draws a lot more consistently now, but there's still those falling nares that are always so impeccably placed as they're more they're more punishes, right? Leo's not just sensibly throwing them out there, but that back air is so clean on the ledge as well. Yeah, Leo's just playing textbook right now. I mean, this is this is what we're used to seeing from the kid. He's a champion through and through. Mm -hmm. Toby and Ray, I mean, that was a better game than game one. Let's see if he can, if he can further the uh, adaptation and make it to a game three. The, the thing that sucks, though, Matt, is that the clock is ticking, right? Like, this I is know. the last game he's got, and yeah. that was a one-stock improvement. Like, he now needs to, like, double down, do, like, cram study in the next <laughs> in the next 10 seconds before the next set starts. Otherwise, that's it. He's going to get 3-0'd. That's true, dude. Yeah, for Leo, it looks like just another day at the office. Look at him. He's, he's chilling, man. <laughs> he's feeling good. I mean, wouldn't you after those two? Uh, it was a three stock and then a two stock. So Leo goes, you know what? Even if you get a one stock, that's okay. I'm moving on to winner's 3 0. But here we go. Nair, that's a great party starter. Ooh, Ooh. Okay, another one. He went all the way forward. 50% and the drag down up air. Very nice. Oh, didn't get the last hit that he was looking for with that Nair. But yeah, immediately Leo just runs right under the auto rifle, -right recognizes when he's going to whip. 35 up for grab, by the way, G pick. That is absolutely nutty. So much pressure on the sledge, yeah. Oops. I don't blame you, Sobian Ray just drops out of that situation entirely. Yeah, he whipped the grab. I feel like he's playing, I've seen Ray play before. I watched him, you know, play in Tri-State a lot of times, and he's a very, very proficient player. I feel like he doesn't really miss things like that often. Maybe he's a little bit nervous. You know, this is his first set of the day, too. I would not want to wake up, warm up, and be like, who are you playing? MK Leo? Oh, boy. Yeah, okay, like, okay, it, that's tough. It's already cold enough at Frostbite. You don't want your hands cold either, True. you know? Absolutely. And especially in front of this crowd just that goes ballistic over every little thing. Dude, the crowd has been absolutely nuts. But here comes Ray, back throw. Oh, no, he went forward throw. Nice mix-up. And he went finish oh! play. That was so smart. What a mix-up, dude. Beautiful catch. That was such it. a great uh, trap. It was, dude. And uh, there you go, using the counter pick to his advantage now. The platform being his best friend now. See what Ray can get started here, though. Again, I feel like that was just like a, a, whip, a missed opportunity there on the Nair, punishing the dash attack. But here we go. <gasps> Leo mistiming it, unable to find uh, the teleport there. Finds himself. The double jump used, actually just gonna wait. They're trying to get the two frame, instead intimidates Utopian Ray outside of teleport distance entirely. That's a bummer to see, because Utopian Ray had built himself a nice little lead. He's yeah. kind of pressuring MK Leo, trying to figure out how to extend the lead, but instead we're having it go this way. Beautiful, gets the quick draw punish, gets the punish on the getup attack as well. This is a really great situation for Utopian Ray. Gets a parry <laughs> on the up tilt. He parried and he just, he just uh, it's like one of those escalators at the uh, at the airport that just slide. You know what I mean? He yeah. parried and just slid away, dude. He had, he had the heelys on. <laughs> Like, this is this is a very confident Utopian right now. I think just after that previous stock, he's getting parries left and right. He is inside Leo's head now. That's right. Oh, look at the up air at the top. Oh, God, he finds the fair anyway. I mean, Utopian Ray, he was just so close to the blast zone in those last couple of interactions, and Ike is a very powerful character. Good recognition by MK Leo taking that one down. And again, he threads the needle on that recovery very, very well, G-Pick. I yeah. feel like Utopian Ray picked off, like, 99% of Ike with that down tilt, but not MK Leo, that's for sure. And now, and also, Leo knows when to mix up to go high. Even if there's not yeah. a platform to catch him safely, he recognizes that risk makes it harder to read. That's for sure, man. I mean, we're talking about MK Leo who played Cloud pretty much the entirety of the Smash World career. And you can't survive as a Cloud, you know, live as a Cloud player if you're not surviving, you know, in the game too, so. He knows, to, he knows how to recover the Sortie that hits really hard with the big sword, but there you go, forward tilt, mixing it up. Not going for the down tilt that time. Very nice stuff by Utopian Rain. There you go, like we said, zero socks first game. Two, one stock the next game. Now okay. he's got two. Let's see if he can make it three. Yeah, if he can get that extra credit assignment in, he can stay in the class. That's true. <laughs> MK Leo's class. It's one of the toughest <laughs> classes on campus, man. Oh, no. No, not like that. No, man. Oh. 
such a heartbreaker. Two failed recoveries, and that second one just being an L uh, SD outright, right? He just jumped yeah. off the ledge and unfortunately misread his own recovery distance and couldn't make it back. That oh. was that was two SDs actually in the last one. Remember? Oh, two just, SDs? Oh yeah, it was yeah, off stage at the beginning. The yeah, yeah. I mean, it was that, that stock was pretty much ready to go anyway, but he had the momentum, and that's yeah. one thing you don't want to throw away when you're the player who's on the cusp of trying to make an upset. You know what yeah. I mean? The last thing you want to do is that is real top player privilege, to be honest with you. Like top player, you cut line to get water. Okay, whatever. Like who cares? <laughs> who cares? Real top player privilege is being in bracket, and the other person has the potential to cause an upset, and they make nervous mistakes. That yeah. is super true. Someone just getting nervous, missing things, they'll hit 99 of the time in friendlies, since you're a top player, man, I'm gonna cause this upset. It adds like an extra like layer of thinking to that player's mind. Like you can't let it get to you. And you know, in this case, maybe Utopian Ray was feeling that a little bit. He was playing so well too in that game three. I gotta say, the, the adjustments so were very incredible. Nice.